Hello. So this time we're gonna be talking about music videos. Let's let's get on to the topic of why we're talking about music videos. So recently, Miley Cyrus' song can't we can't stop. We can't stop. It's a good song. Like just hearing it on the radio and something or what? It's really catchy and it. Even though the lyrics are kind of dumb, but it's catchy and you know that a lot of time what makes a good song. But then we came home and saw the music video and we were mind fucked. Yes, the music video makes no sense and it involved even an I obscene amount it. of twerking and butt hitting and an obscene amount of what seems to be drug use. <gasps> Cocaine. It may be not a good video in the sense that like oh. It fits that standard that we all want. And what is that standard? I don't know. Something like Taylor Swift, like shit like that. I don't know. That's a standard? I guess. Oh. But it's still memorable because now people are going around saying, Oh my god, have you seen her video? Because it's blah 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 so and so. It's scary. It, it did its job, so when people say it's not good, I guess it doesn't matter because it it's making her more popular. So, so basically what we're saying is that is a music video bad because of what's in it, or is it good based on how much somebody remembers popularity. it? popularity. Another example of this is Blurred Lines. A lot of us have seen the, uh... Is that the one with PG the guy? version? Like the suit? Yeah, yeah the PG the version of it, which is like, the girls are wearing clothing. The non-PG... Those are non-PG versions? Yeah, they're topless. And so that's obviously gonna attract more people, but the song itself is good. I'll be back. So like, I guess it comes down to knowing what the audience wants to see and doesn't want to see, and even if they don't like what they see. Holy crap, there is a non-PG version. I don't know, they're doing something right, and that's all that matters. Is that? So basically, is a music video good because it's memorable? How do you declassify if it's a good music video? I guess it's really about the song, and the music video is just an extra. So, tell us in the comments how you judge a good music video. And whether you liked Blurred Lines, or the We Can't Stop by Miley Cyrus or, video. And state any other weird music videos so we can check them out. Yeah, like I've seen I'm Out by Sierra and Nicki Minaj, that one's bizarre as well. Is that the one where she's slapping girls' asses or something? No. Oh. What's in that one? There's just twerking again, oh. or booty shaking. Um, and describe if twerking's a really good thing to put in a video. Like... I can't do it, so we're not gonna try that. No, don't worry. We won't get any jiggly bumps. But I guess that's it, so... Comment, rate, and subscribe. Be kind, be cool, be crazy.